Goobers, what's going on? It's your boy Robezy and welcome back to the channel. Today I have something especially planned for you guys because I've been getting a lot of questions and comments regarding the different gas plays that I make. And I know in the past couple of months my YouTube shorts have essentially been carried by a lot of my gas plays which I am blessed to hear and I'm thankful for you guys for checking that out and for your constant support. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns about the breakdown that I'm going to give you guys, please leave them in the comments and if I can answer them in a short, I definitely will. If I can answer them in the comments, I definitely will and I want to make sure that I give you guys the best tools to help you guys succeed especially in those late game and rotations so without further ado let me know what you guys think all right so for this clip uh, I actually got a pretty decent 1v4 but the rotations here were probably the key thing that made this clip um, very noteworthy for me to actually want to make it into a long-form video for you guys to understand exactly what I was thinking here and um, every situation is gonna be pretty different I mean there's distinct differences between every single clip that I have but most of the time I want you guys to understand that I'm not just lucky and I have a bunch of stims on me and I have a munitions box and I have a gas mask and I have a bunch of other munitions boxes nearby station or I, pl I plan these things out accordingly uh, when the end game comes near so you guys didn't see it in this clip I could always back uh, back up in about like 20 seconds but um, I actually ended up rotating down to try and get a couple of easy holds over here so um, this is sort of a, a pretty simple and straightforward play right here I'm just trying to get a couple of easy holds before the gas completely closes in But I like to tell everybody and remind everyone to be ready for the end game rotations by Really the third circle if you're trying to get ready by the fourth circle depending on how many players there are It can be extremely difficult to do that because either a you won't have a buy station near you or B You just won't have enough money so it's really simple to just try and finish some contracts easy or at least take some money from your teammates to try and plan ahead for that. But as you can see, I got some pretty decent downs. I have a munitions box. My teammates went down, so I am the last alive. But as you guys noticed a second ago, there's also another munitions box there on the ground. So if that circle had rotated to me, I would have been... I would have had plenty of time to use my stims and had another munitions box or two munitions boxes to replenish my stims. But the circle rotated up, so I know that I'm going to make a far rotation to the right. I want to take things back for a second right here. You guys can see in the top left that my the, the team that I'm trying to fight, it's the last team, so it's a 1v4, 1v5, excuse me, because my teammate's just about to die right now. It's a 1v4 situation. They know that I'm over here to my right. They just saw me shooting. They just saw me um, uh, fight another team, and they just took a couple of shots at me. So my goal is not to make a direct rotation to the circle. I just, use, I just burned through my entire gas mask. I still have some stims left, and I still have a munitions box. But the precision airstrike is definitely going to come in clutch for me if they try and cut me off right here. Now, what you should do as the opposing team is beat me to the circle. You need to get to this hill, and I, I can't explain it right now because I'm not looking at it, but there's a ledge that you guys, there's a little pathway up that hill that you can go up to. If they can get up to that hill and beat me to this house, they're good game. That's I, 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 They're going to win. There's no way that I can make that far long rotation to the right and have enough stims to stay alive. So, with that being said, the first thing that was I was thinking of in my head is to take out my airstrike and to try and cut them off at that hill. But I couldn't because the airstrike was too, uh, the airspace is too crowded. But that actually ended up being a good thing for me later down the game. So I'm gonna use one of my stims. I'm gonna try and make it to the house. My goal is to save as many stims as I can. But I'm not sure if I had the opportunity to do that right here. I wanted to make sure that I get inside the house. Oh yep, I did. 
We're gonna play it up for a second and make sure that I get a good regain. And now what you want to do in every single 1v4 situation is isolate every single opponent. If you can get some easy beams off of a head glitch and down one, two, maybe three of them at the same time, that is perfect. If you can even collapse, if you can line them up and get a collapse, that's even better. But nine times out of 10, you're not gonna get an easy situation like that. You need to isolate every single person and take them down one by one and try and get the finishes when you can. Because once you get a knock, if they get back up, it's gonna be 10 times more difficult to try and re-down that same person if they're not already one shot when they uh when they revive so i want to isolate them and make it a 1v1 situation in every single fight i see one person lacking here right here as he's coming up that hill the circle is going to do another far rotation to the right but in this case i want to back it up for a second after i just got uh, got this last kill right here you're going to see in my mini map i get three other pings from where his teammates are this is perfect for me you see there's one teammate ghosted behind me making the same rotation I just made. Another one coming up the hill to my left and the other one making the same rotation from the guy that I just killed. This is great because now for one, they know exactly what window I'm in. But two, I also have the advantage because they have to rotate to me unless they want to make a far rotation to the left and a far rotation to the right. That's on them. But one of them for sure has to come directly to me. But I want to get a different angle because his teammate probably already called me out and said he's in that window. I want to go down to my right right here and hold this angle on the half wall. He heard the glass break. I get that down and I see one person coming in making that rotation that I just made. I'm going to use a little bit of movement and try and get the down, but I get flashed and believe me, the one thing you do not want to do here is panic, but I use my stim on accident. I would have had plenty of time. I would have had plenty of time to make that run up the stairs and then get out of there in that situation. But I do have a munitions box, so that's good news because if I didn't, I would have been absolutely dead right here and that would have been game. So I did use my stim. I was able to get out of that situation, but I did just get one of those downs. And as the gas is closing in, if that guy has a self, he could make it out alive, but I don't think he does right here. So I might have actually gotten the finish on this guy, luckily, because his teammates couldn't res him. Um, so I'm going to keep making this rotation over here to my left. And as you can see, yep, that last guy, he just died right now, which is perfect. That guy that I downed that was trying to go into a uh, lighthouse tower. And you can see that he has two teammates right here. One closely behind me where, where the car is. And the other one's a little bit further on the half wall. Now, this guy who's going to be on the car right here, I couldn't hear his footsteps because I was coughing. And he could probably hear mine because I was the one that was coughing. And he just came, uh, and he wasn't in the gas. So... Again, that's all speculation, but that's part of game sense. It's trying to understand where another opponent's going to be and how you know that they're going to be there. But I was blessed enough to get the late down, or I get the late finish on the guy that I had down near Lighthouse. And now that I can see where these last two people are, they're going to have to rotate to the circle once again. With that being said, that's where my airstrike is going to come in handy. What I want to do is play it up first. I'm going to try and sound horde to see if they want to push this window, try and get an easy, cl uh, easy clip on me. I try and take some shots that miss, but what my goal is to drop the airstrike ahead of him as you can see the airstrike is going to be dropped right where the circle is going to be in that little enclosure they want to get to the circle by now if they still have a gas mask and some stems i don't know what to say i mean they just use their resources very well so i'm going to drop that airstrike right there i want to make that i, I want to make that an opportunity for me to get an easy down uh, airstrike's gonna take some time so that's fine first pass comes through didn't get a kill the second one comes through i get a knock which is beautiful i don't know if he has self or not but i'm not focused on him i'm focused on where his teammate is his teammate let up and gave a couple of easy shots that he could have absolutely had if he just played that half a wall correctly i didn't really have much le uh, leeway to to move here on this platform that i had granted i had the high ground if he played this half wall correctly he could have absolutely won that game so that's a little bit of perspective on the uh, the opposite side but i really didn't want to go for that finish i really wanted to find out where this guy was granted he took some shots he missed i was able to get that down and that is the game all right, thank you guys so much again for tapping in and if this is something that you guys want to see more in the future if you guys want to see me do more play-by-play -play breakdowns of the gas plays and these different rotations that i make go ahead and let me know down in the comments by leaving a comment subscribing to the channel and liking the video as well guys but thank you again so much for tapping in and i will see you guys again next time peace and blessings